Hi everyone, it's me back again. Um, apologies for the delay in getting a video out. This one is going to be quite a short one. It's something I couldn't wait um, to get out. So apologies if it's going to be quite short um, and lacking in massive content. But I just, uh, you know, I, I couldn't resist um, doing this one. Um, and it's around ServiceNow San Diego. Now we all know, or hopefully we know, and if you don't know, um, here you go. San Diego is now available for personal development instances to upgrade or go and get one on San Diego. Right? Um, Service now really good at this. They're, they're kind of exciting us, getting us ready for the general availability. But go and have a look. And the one thing I wanted to just show you now, very quickly, is something that has seen a lot of hype on community and I've seen a lot of hype on LinkedIn about this. And this is going to be, to me, it's, it's a proper wow factor. Okay, so I just want to show this off. And that is what people are referring to as Polaris or the next generation um, UI. Okay, effectively, it's a new theme. It's a new interface for the back end of ServiceNow. So here we go. So this is my personal development instance. So I got it last week uh, when I knew, in fact, um, I think it was someone on LinkedIn posted, hey, they're up for availability. Go and get them. So first thing I did in the morning, go and get it. So if you um, have a new instance of ServiceNow um, and you, you've taken it um, from um, general availability onwards, you, you're going to get the, uh, this Polaris is going to be enabled by default. If you're a, uh, an old timer like me and you need to go and activate it, then you go into Sys Properties and you type in Polaris and here are all the Polaris properties. But what we can do is this one here, is we can set this to true. Okay, so that's the whole experience, but they've also got something called dark themes as well. Um, so we can enable dark themes as well. So I'm going to set that to true. I've got to be honest, on most apps, I don't bother with dark themes, but maybe that's just me, but it's there. Okay, so we do that. We reload. Bear in mind, I'm on a dev instance, so it may take a little longer than normal. Um, and we'll see the new interface. Um, see, for me, I think this is really exciting. Um, so here we go. See it's loading. It's a nice purple. I like that. I like that. Um, but it, it's it's exciting times. But it's going to mean the um, the change for the end users. So the one thing I would um, say is, as soon as you can get one of your instances upgraded, um, get Polaris on it. If that's the chosen route you want to go down, you may actually uh, want to take some time to investigate it. Okay, and then move to it perhaps over six months, maybe even twelve months down the line. But if you do want to go straight to Polaris um, and, and be bold, um, get one of your instances on it. Get your users logging in, having a look. Okay, get them familiarised with that. Um, so here we go. So what we can see here, left hand side. Look at this, right? So you can pin. So this is if I click um, this here, just reload. There you go. There's no navigation bar on the left hand side. There's no. There's nothing there. So what you have to do is click on all. Hey, this is what we get now. So we can now start typing. Let, let's look for UI policies, maybe. Here we go. UI policies. Boom. Okay. There we go. If I just click on a form, let's have a look at one. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, and this is what the new form looks like. Look at that. Look how different it is. Okay highlight we get that little purple color what you can do which i think is useful just again if you're old like me um maybe i i, I get a warm and fuzzy feeling if i have the, the navigation bar on the left hand side so you can pin it okay so it stays there so at least there's some kind of what i would call normality for me you've got things like here your favorites history workspaces you can jump straight to them there okay on the right hand side over here if you look here Look how nice this looks. If you go into preferences, this is where we get, this is our preferences, this is our cog. This is where we get theme, so we can switch to dark mode. Okay, default, dark. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it on default, I don't really like dark, but it's something to play with. Um, anyway, what I would say, get your San Diego instance, get Polaris on it. Have a play around, have a look, have a feel. You're going to see a lot of hype, um, a lot of talk and discussion over the next um, couple of months on this, I would have thought. Definitely from me, 
I will be doing a new um, what's new in San Diego, which will cover this and other aspects of what I think is cool in San Diego. Really exciting time go, times, guys. Though, guys, um, appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully, it's inspired you to go and take your, your take a look yourself. If you didn't know about it, um, if you did know about it, then um, hope you've made it to the end. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you're not subscribed, click click subscribe. If you are um, and like the video, just just give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'll um, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. All right, thanks.